Hey all, welcome to Ron's Tech Reviews. In this video, I'll be talking about the CPU air cooler from Scythe, the Mugen 5 Black Edition. This is the all blacked out version of the Mugen 5 Revision B that was released earlier with a better mounting mechanism. As always, this video will be broken down into chapters so you can easily jump to the part that you want to watch. I'll be showing the unboxing process, how to install on an AMD AM4 motherboard and finally talk about its performance. Here is the packaging the cooler comes in. We have the image of the cooler in the front with the label Mugen 5 Black Edition. Turning over to the side, we have the cooler and the fan specs including the dimensions and warranty information. Then moving over to the other side, we find three main features of this cooler mentioned. Being excellent RAM compatibility due to its offset shape, optimized tower height which makes it compatible even in the DNB PC011 dynamic case, and the star fan, the case flex 120mm PWM fan. Now on to the unboxing. It's pretty well packaged for a budget CPU air cooler. In one compartment, we find the Case Flex 120mm fan mentioned before. The other is a box which we will look at its contents later. And finally, we have the tower cooler itself. Taking it out, I find the build quality quite amazing. It's all black, smooth to touch. I don't feel any sharp edges that would hurt me. I'm pretty sure this will go well in any blacked out PC build. The tower cooler has 6 heat pipes that are directly touching the cold plate below, which I believe is made of nickel plated copper. The fin density of this cooler is also quite high, hence maximizing the cooling efficiency of this cooler. Now you'll notice that this tower cooler has an offset shape. This greatly helps in RAM height clearances. In actuality, you can use the tallest RAM possible and this tower cooler won't interfere with it. Even if you want this side of the tower to be next to the RAM, the notch allows for tall RAM sticks to be compatible. Now in the box, we get a Ziploc bag with some contents, a Phillips screwdriver and the manual. In that Ziploc bag, we have four fan mount clips. The two extra clips help in case one of them breaks, which is highly unlikely, or you would like to run a dual fan setup on this tower. Then we have the mounting brackets, one pair for the Intel motherboards and the other for AMD motherboards. Then we have the backplate for Intel motherboards. There isn't one for AMD because it will use the same backplate that comes with all AM4 motherboards. A decent amount of thermal paste. And last but not the least, we have the mounting screws and the standoffs. Now about the all black case flex fan that comes in the box is an improved version of their previous models. And here are the stats. Basically, the max RPM has increased to 1500 and the CFM has also greatly improved. If you are enjoying this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and if you aren't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that this channel reaches the magical 1000 subscriber mark. Now on to the installation process. I'll quickly show you guys how simple it is to install this cooler on any AMD AM4 motherboards. Unscrew the 4 screws holding down the default AM4 mounting brackets and take them out. Then place the 4 standoffs, place the mounting brackets on them. and finally insert the screws and tighten them. Before placing the tower cooler, apply thermal paste. The tower cooler already has the screws on them. Just align these screws to the holes on the bracket and tighten them alternatively so that the pressure is equally applied over the CPU plate. Tighten the screws until the tension on the screws prevent them from turning anymore. Then take the fan with the fan clips already inserted. Be sure to route the cable so that you can have a clean run to your motherboard's fan header. Now simply pull down on the fan clips on either side and they will lock into place. Now on to the performance matrix. I have set the ambient room temperature to 21 degrees centigrade and overclocked the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X to an all core 4550 MHz. Despite overclocking the CPU, the cooler has managed to keep the CPU cool at 81 degrees centigrade and only touching a max temperature of 83 degrees centigrade. Considering this air cooler is enclosed in a Lian Li PC011 dynamic case, which mind you is not the best case for an air cooled CPU, the Scythe Mogan 5 has managed to pull it off, giving decent cooling performance at a budget price. The cooler is also quite inaudible. I had tested the fan at its max RPM 
approximately 1500 rpm with all the case fans turned off and my sound meter only read a max of 39.5 dBA at about 50 cm away from the cooler so in essence you won't be hearing this tower cooler even while gaming even after that impressive performance i would still suggest this cooler is only suitable for mid and lower tier cpus like the intel i7 and lower cpus and the amd ryzen 7 and lower cpus if you want to air cool anything like the latest ryzen 9 5900x or the 5950x then it's better you go for the noctua nhd15 cooler So what's my final take on the Mugen 5 Black Edition cooler from Site? At below 60 USD, this is hands down the best looking all black air cooler that does not skimp on performance. It will keep your CPU cool even during intense gaming sessions or running CPU heavy workload for a long period of time. So if you're interested in buying this cooler, I have affiliate web links down in the description below. That's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please drop in a comment and I'll respond back to you as soon as possible. If you're interested in watching my other videos, please click on either one of these videos popping up right now. One of them is about the Baro 3-in-1 CPU block for your custom water cooling loop. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.